Hello, we're going to do a, um, and evaluate a definite integral by interpreting in terms of areas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with this function. So here's the solution. I'm going to start off by examining this function, f of x equals 1 plus the square root of 9 minus x squared. And I'm going to focus on, for a moment, I don't know about that arrow, arrow what I should write, an arrow or not, but I'm going to focus on y equals this part, the second part, the second term, radical 9 minus x squared. Okay, so this might very well might not be an elementary function that, that is presented, like, say, in a pre-calculus class, but um, we can handle this. What we're going to do is we're going to square both sides, and when I square both sides... We, we, we start seeing something that's familiar. If I just move this around. And, um, and so I get x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. Or x squared plus y squared is equal to 3 squared. So that's a circle with radius 3 centered at the origin. However, it's actually the only the top part of a circle because... Um, if we look at where we began, y equals the square root of 9 minus x squared, that expression can never be negative. A square root is, is never negative. So I'm going to include y greater or equal to 0 up there, and I'm going to put it over here also. So what this is, is this is an upper semicircle. With radius... Three. Now, this part here is a shift up by one. What do I mean this part? This, this one here, that's a shift up by one. So what I want to do is I'm going to draw an upper semicircle with radius three. And I actually, see, we're only going from, if you also notice here, x is between, um, just, just looking over here, x is between negative 3 and 0. So in fact, in the end, we're only going to look at a, a third, or a fourth of a circle. But, okay. Maybe I'll draw the whole semicircle and then only shade in um, half of the semicircle. And, uh, all right. Uh, so, let me... Well, I'm going to use the drawing program here, or the drawing feature of this iPad um, um, program notability that I'm using. And um, let's see if I can do this right. Uh, well, I'm not really sure about that. Um, okay, I need to... All right, there I go. So I have a circle of radius 3, right? And But what I want to do is I want to have that shifted up. All right, so what I'm going to do is, um, because I can't figure out how to do that in another way with this program... I'm going to now, oops, I'm now going to color in or erase, not really erase, but just sort of delete that, the lower part of the semicircle. So, so what we're going to do with this semicircle after I sketch the graph is we're going to find the area. Now, it, but it's a, it's a semicircle shifted up by one. All right, so it's a semicircle shifted up by one. And so that part that's shifted up by one is it's probably not very good to represent it the way I just did there. Let me let me just show it like this. Okay, it's, <clears throat> it's shifted up by one. Now, we're only going to find the area from negative three to zero. And so now let me shade in two different colors this Oh man. Okay, but just from zero, negative three to zero. Let me just. I'm only going to shade from ne shade from negative three to zero. And uh, here I go. I was actually I wasn't that good at shading in first grade in kindergarten, but anyway. Um, okay, and let me do a different color here. All right, now let's do the easy part here. This rectangle part has area of three it's because it's base three, height one, or I can count there's three squares. 
this this part here for the area in green is going to be one fourth of pi r squared. Why one fourth? Because it's only one fourth of a of a of a circle. And so and r is three. All right, so there we go. So let's just remember that the area of a circle should really be the area of a disk, but anyway, that's pi r squared. Now, how do we know that? Was that proven in this book? Okay, that's a good question. So um, anyway, there we go. So, so what's our final answer? Our answer then is, um, is just the area. Why is it just the area? Because this is, okay, this is an integral. And if the, if the function, if the curve and the function is positive, meaning it lies above the x-axis, then the integral is equal to the area. And we just found the area. It's 3, that's the blue box, plus 1 fourth pi r squared, which is 9. Hold on. So let me write 9 fourths pi. Maybe it'd be better if I could somehow, well, I think you can see that, right? Three squared is nine times one fourth, so I get nine fourths, and I have pi, and then I add the three, and so that's, that's our answer there. All right, um, let's stop for that.